scissors? Yeah, you. Half inch. Take off your black clip. You can see that. In between the sprocket and the end of the clutch. Wait, bro, off. Let's pry that part of the clutch off after you get uh, the clip off on the outside shell. Clutch pried off. We just took off our exhaust for make everything easier. Plus, it's junk anyways. But um, you need to take off these bolts holding in the what was it, valve cover. Eight millimeter. So uh, after you take off your head cover, you're gonna first you're gonna need a filler gauge. We had to run a hard freight real quick and grab one of those. And you got a lock nut and uh, just a back nut that allows you to adjust how tight your rocker arms are on uh, your springs and push rods or whatever. But uh, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for the lock, uh, backing nut and a 14 millimeter for this silver back one right there. And you're just gonna loosen those up and take them off. So what you're gonna do, literally just pull your arms off. So they're not attached after you take those nuts off. And uh, on the springs, you're gonna push down on them, push them over to the side, get them unhooked from the rods that they're on, and it should be easy. Don't forget to get your lash caps off. There you go. Push it down. I have to take your caps off. Move it to the side. It's off. Use a magnet. <clears throat> New strings, nice to the old ones. Definitely different, but uh, got that all removed. Didn't drop a last cap down there. Thank goodness. And now installing them. Put this back on. Last caps. Set it on. You get your rockers back on. Make sure this one's on the bottom. You can. You can really tell that it's different, the shading, or yeah, the reflection of the light. This is the bottom, top, and then you put the bolt on, and then we'll get to putting the feeler gauge in. There you go. You might need somebody, you might need to take off your exhaust and hold the valves so they don't push through, but set it on, spring on, Cap on and lash caps. Line it up. Slide your rockers back on. Here's the left and right. I don't really think it matters that much, I'm guessing. But uh, the main bolt back on. Right over the those. What you're going to need to do after you get all your nuts hand tight on your fuel side, you're going to need to set your fueler gauge at five thousandths of an inch and adjust your nut your back nut or whatever the black one so uh you have a little bit of drag in between your rod and your rocker arm on the exhaust side spec calls for eight thousandths but since the engine's cold obviously you're gonna want it to be at about seven thousandths of an inch then the same thing, repeat process. Just adjust your main bolt or main nut until you can have a little bit of drag on your feeler gauge. Just make sure. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Damn. Yeah.